Hi everybody, today in class we worked on solving problems in which ratios between two quantities change. And so we're discovering that it's helpful to draw a before tape diagram and an after tape diagram. So we're actually going to have two sets of tape diagrams. So just because of that, I want to go ahead and just write that down now. If I know I'm going to need a before and I'm going to need it after. And while I'm going to read it through, and then I'm going to go back through and actually highlight some things that I find are important and try to separate the before and after part of it. So taking a look, the problem says Shelley compared the number of oak trees to the number of maple trees as part of a study about hardwood trees in a woodlot. She counted nine maple trees to every five oak trees. Later in the year, there was a bug problem and many trees died. The new trees were planted to make sure that there was the same number of trees as before the bug problem. But the new ratio of the number of maple trees to the number of oak trees is three to 11. After planting new trees, there were 132 oak trees. How many more maple trees were in the woodlot before the bug problem than after the bug problem? explain. So again, I'm going to go ahead and start thinking about my different parts. I've got my before and I have my after. So before I had nine maple and five oak trees was my ratio. And then it talked about later they planted the same number of trees but the ratio of maple to oak is three to 11. So it was still maple to oak. So the ratio still remains the same. Then it goes through and it says after planting new trees. So here's the after part. And I'm gonna highlight this, the after part in green still, there were 132 oak trees. So I'm gonna focus in on all that before coming back to answer the following question. So I'm gonna set up my two separate tape diagrams. I will start with before the bug problem. We had nine maple trees to five oak trees. So I like to do M for maple and I'll do O for oak. And it said nine to five. So I'm gonna draw my tape diagram <clears throat> and make nine equal parts here. And then for the oak was five. So I'm gonna follow along and go one, two, three, four, five, about that long and try to make those visually about the same. So I've got nine to five maples to oaks. And then after it was three to 11, still maples to oaks. So I'm just gonna use a different color for after. And three. And here's 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. All right, good, I just wanted to make sure. So <clears throat> total, I still have nine plus five equals 14 before, and after I had three to 11, which is three plus 11, which is also 14 total. So I'm dealing with the same equal parts of the ratios. And to continue to solve this, it tells me that after planting the new trees, there were 132 oak trees. So I'm at the after part, and I have oak trees equals 132. So all of this is equal to 132. So I know that I have 11 of these, so some number times 11 gives me 132. Well, hopefully, if we know our basic facts, we realize that that missing number is 12, 12 times 11 is 132. That tells me that each of these individual rectangles are all worth 12. Here, here, and even over here because it still had all of the same equal parts, right? So let's go through and actually finally answer the final question. So the final question says, how many more maple trees, so I'm focusing in on maple trees, were in the wooded lot before the bug problem than after the bu bug problem? So I've got my maple trees before the bug problem, and I have my maple trees after the bug problem. So we're going to go ahead and solve that problem. 
I can see that be before the bug problem, my ratio was nine maple trees to every five. So I have nine here that we know they're each worth 12. So this chunk is equal to nine sets of 12. So this one on the after is equal to three sets of 12. So we're going to have to find the totals here first. So I know that nine times 12, we have to know our basic facts. Um, nine times 10 is 90. Nine times two is 18, if you didn't have that. So we've got nine times 12 is 108. And over here, three sets of 12 is 36. You could do three sets of 10, which is 30, and then three sets of two to make your six. And so I've got 108 maple trees before the bug problem, and then I have 36 maple trees after the bug problem. So to answer the final question, it wants to know how many more maple trees were there before. So all we're going to do is subtract the before from the after. So I have 108. Let's see, I'll write it over here. Minus the 36 that are there now. 8 minus 6 is 2. 10 minus 3 is 7. So there are 72 more maple trees. Now. So our work is all shown. We've answered the question. And we used two sets of tape diagrams to get us there. So there was a lot involved, but we figured it out. Um, we've got some more practice to do in class tomorrow with it. So uh, keep working on it.